Hello, everybody. How are you doing? It is Wednesday. Is this one of those weeks that feels like it is actually charging ahead of us? Does it feel like Thursday to anybody else? Feels like Thursday to me. Then I realize it's Wednesday. It made me happy because there are more games to play. That's more opportunities for all of you to win. So it's a positive. Yes, it's not. Hello, Louisiana. Hello, Birmingham in the UK. What's going on, Mizzou Momster? Hello to you. Howdy from Dallas. Island. What's going on, Larcat? Hello to you. Angela, hello to you in Florida. You know, Green Owl, just thought what it's five minutes they gave you a little countdown clock. There used to be a countdown clock. Someday, when we are back doing these games in person, there will be a countdown clock again. But for now, <clears throat> if you want me to just say numbers for another minute, I will. But I think it's more fun to shout out friends in Arkansas, Milwaukee. Who else do we have here? Snacky in Georgia, hello to you. Scranton, PA, what's going on? South Maid, Texas, Springfield, Illinois, Sarasota, Florida, shout out to you. And we got friends in the Bronx and Troy, also in New York, Fort Worth, Washington State, all over the place. Alma, Wisconsin, Lodi, California. Syracuse, New York. Q's in the house. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Q's is in the house. Danger. What is going on? Hello to you. Junction City, Wisconsin. We got folks from all over the world and all over the country. I think we've proved that. If there's nothing else you can walk away with after, after this game, it's that. It's that piece of information, knowing that we're gathering from all around the world to play this game together. Guess what? We've climbed to the summit of the week which means it's all downhill from here, but in a good way. Welcome to the Wednesday edition of Swag Bucks Live, the mobile game show where you win money from the comfort of your phone. Luckily, you don't need any climbing equipment for this game, just your smarts. Here now is an exclusive peek at today's grand prize. Ooh, ah, yes, that's $1,000. And everyone who can correctly answer these 10 multiple choice general trivia questions will split it. Now, even if you get eliminated, please stick around because after Q1, you will all get one bonus SB for any question you get right. And if you are eliminated, you really have to stick around because in order to keep those bonus SB, you have to claim them at the end of the game. It's as simple as clicking a button. Now, I, this is a good time to mention, if you do get eliminated once per game after that first elimination, as long as it is before question number 10, you can rejoin either using a free rejoin, I'll tell you how to do that later, or by spending like an SB barely anything, but you'll win the bonus SB no matter what. And if you are a grand prize winner today, we will take the bonus SB you earn and roll them into your share of the grand prize. You will not have to claim a derned thing. Well, let's get the comments out of here, shall we? That is better. And let's proceed to your warm up. Here is question number one. In accounting, P and L refers to profit and what? Latkes, lima beans, or loss? Think like an accountant. Profit and what? This report gives you a sense of your company's overall financial health in any given quarter, taking a look at its profits and also its losses. Profits and loss. P and L. That is what I was looking for. We had 98% of you get that one right. That means off the bat, now with the rejoins, we're over 30,000, but we were already almost at 30,000 to begin with. People in the hunt for the grand prize, we have almost 32,000 of you total playing the game. Love to see it. Love to see the, the stragglers, my latecomers coming in, using it to rejoin so they still have a shot at the grand prize. Welcome, welcome to all of you. Oh, I think we're going to get to 31,000 people in grand prize contention. I kind of want to wait just a second to see if we get there, but you know I'm going to make it up on the back end. We're going to move quickly through this game. We always do. Now, it's a Wednesday game. I'm going to tell you some of these questions are going to be a little more challenging. This is our second most challenging game of the week, but I have faith in you. And more importantly, you should have faith in yourself. Let's move on to question number two. This is worth one bonus SB to all 32,000 plus of you playing the game right now. All you have to do is get it right. Here is your question. Where would you find the Mauna Loa and Mauna Kea volcanoes? Are they in Tahiti, Hawaii, or New Zealand? Mauna Loa or Mauna Kea? They're both in the same state. 
of being. Oops, I gave it away. Yep, there are two huge volcanoes in the middle of one of the world's most popular vacation destinations. You didn't need me to say state to know that they would both be found in Hawaii. Yes, aloha oi, aloha oi. 97% of you got that one right. Congratulations, well done. You know because of the Mauna Loa, you go get the Mauna Loa uh, uh, the macadamia nuts. You get like the co they have the coffee. There's the macadamia nuts that are covered in chocolate. Those are Mauna Loa. That's what everybody brings back when they take a trip there, and you're glad to have it because guess what? Those things taste delicious. Let's move on to question number three, worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Which of these is a brand of candy? Is it Jolly Rancher, Hidden Valley Ranch, or Yellowstone Rancher? Which of these is a brand of candy? Everyone loves these little fruit candies and has their favorite flavor. Which variety of Jolly Rancher do you love the best? Let us know in the comments. Jolly Rancher, of course, is the answer. My two choices tied for first would be watermelon and grape. I love both of those. Those are good. But you really can't go wrong with a Jolly Rancher. I even like the blue raspberry ones, and they turn your tongue blue. They all turn your tongue some color. Just pick one. If they had a clear one, it somehow your tongue would turn clear. But 99% of you getting that one. So we can move right on into question number four. Worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is. Which of these reality shows is about people buying a place to live? Is it the real world, house hunters, or dancing with the stars? The show is about people buying a place to live. The dirty secret of this show is that the buyers have already purchased their home from the beginning. Sorry, but we really watch House Hunters for the window shopping, right? House Hunters, of course, is the answer. 98% of you getting that one right now. If you have Discovery Plus, you know House Hunters has had so many seasons, they just have their own channel. You can't even watch ind like independent episodes. They just go, here are all the House Hunters. Here are all the Property Brothers. House Hunters International. Also, you can just watch all of the uh, – all of the. this is constantly streaming. Oh, I love those shows. Just show me all the houses. I just want to see all the houses. That's all. Let's move on to question number five worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is. The Bronte sisters wrote under a male pseudonym. What last name did those pseudonyms share? Was it Barnes, Bloom, or Bell? Sisters in real life. They were brothers when they wrote. Now, because they lived and wrote during a time when women were not welcome in the literary world, they created pen names and went from the Bronte sisters to the Bell brothers. Bell is the answer. 68% of you getting that one right. Well done. Only 32% of you eliminated on a difficult question. I consider that a success. And for those of you who were eliminated, now is the time to rejoin. You can do it for 1SB right now if you care to, or use a free rejoin if you have one of those, which most of you have done. We have had over 90% of the people eliminated come right back in. We still have, by the way, over 27,600 of you in grand prize contention, over 32,000 total of you in the game, and all of you can continue to earn bonus SB, like the one you will get if you can correctly answer question number six. Here it is. According to the song, you're never fully dressed without a what? Smile, cat suit, or pith helmet? Never fully dressed without a what? This song from Annie says that while your clothes may be Chanel, Gucci, your shoes, Crocodile, you're never fully dressed without a smile. Yes, a smile is the answer. Let's put a smile on that face. 93% of you getting that one right. Well done. Only 7% of you eliminated. Doing very well for a Wednesday game. These games are not easy and you are crushing it just like I knew you would. I told you, believe in you. I, you. I always believe in you. But I can tell that today in particular, you all believe in yourselves. So let's keep it going, shall we? This next question worth one bonus SB. Only four questions left in this game. Here is question number seven. In 2012, what nickname was given to a species of ant that is unique to New York City? Is it Brooklands, Manhattan Ants, or Central Parkers? That species of ants. The biggest question here is whether the ants are Yankees fans or Mets fans. Discovered in Central Park, they are called Manhattan Ants. Manhattan Ants, because that is where they are. It's the borough that they're in. 76% of you getting that one right. Do you remember the Manhattan Ants, or does it just make more sense than the Brooklands or the Central Parkers? 
They, it was tough to come up with fake answers for this one. I'm going to be honest with you. It was real tough. The Brooklands came easy, but then well, I had to think real hard about the other ones. But you did so well. 76% of you were not fooled by my fake answers. Well done. Out of those of you eliminated, over half of you coming back in. Still over 22,500 of you in grand prize contention. That grand prize being $1,000. Still over 32,000 of you in the game as we move on. To our final three questions, this next one worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here is question number eight. Which instrument has fetched the highest price at auction? Is it a piano, a violin, or a guitar? Which of these instruments has fetched the highest price at auction? If you have several million dollars laying around, you can purchase the most expensive instru instrument on earth the next time it's up for auction, of course. It was a violin, folks. Violin fetching millions and millions of dollars. 73% of you getting that one right. What? What hardest game? Hardest game, hardest shmame is what you've all said. Because we have so many of you that are pushing through to our final two questions. That was the last tough one I had for you. And you nailed it. You knocked it out of the park. You squared your shoulders, kept your head down. You drove through the ball. Boom. Pulled it right over the fence. No question about it. As soon as it left the bat, we all heard it. We knew that it was gone. We are ready now to move on to our second to last question worth one bonus SB. If you get it right, here is question number nine. In 1863, what state seceded from Virginia? Is it Maryland, West Virginia, or Ohio? Who seceded from Virginia? Which of these states? Hmm, I wonder which one. I wonder if part of the secession was to create a state shaped like one of the ghosts from Pac-Man or an octopus. Either way, we now have West Virginia, which looks like both. West Virginia is the answer. 8,225 of you have made it this far, and you are ready for our final question. And you know what I'm going to say right now. Say it along with me from memory. If you had fun playing this game, tell your friends about it. Post to social media after the game with hashtag SBLive and include your share link, which you can find after the game by clicking the, that's right, invite or get more rejoins button in the main menu of this app. Because when people sign up using that link, you get a free rejoin. I have an invitation for you to turn ordinary into extraordinary. The skinny girl line of dressing is the simple way to enjoy salad without worrying about all the extra calories from dressing. No guilt, no hassle, but plenty of SB. Add Skinny Girl to your list in Magic Receipts, then buy one Skinny Girl salad dressing in-store at Walmart, online at walmart.com, or online via Walmart Grocery Pickup, and earn 50 SB when you upload your receipt. Buy two and earn 125 SB. You have to be a U.S. player to take advantage of this opportunity, but check it out after the game. Always buy two bottles of salad dressing, because you know you're going to love the first one so much, then you don't have to go out right away to get another one and earn that 125, 125 SB. I mean, it's just the economy is... I can't... If you don't realize what a good deal that is, I've just told you. So now you know. Congratulations. We have 18,472 people vying for a piece of our $1,000 grand prize. Almost 32,000 of you total are here and ready for our final question worth one bonus SB. If you get it right, here it is. Question number 10. Mastering the Art of French Cooking was a hit for what famous TV chef? Was it Julia Child, Emeril Lagasse, or Guy Fieri? Who wrote Mastering the Art of French Cooking? Written with two legitimate French women. It's the Bible for French cooking here in the States. And it helped put Julia Child on the map. Julia Child is the answer. 17,473 of you got that one right. And you are splitting our grand prize. Congratulations to each and every one of you. Taking home 6SB plus the bonuses you earned along the way. Melissa Tyler, Barb Hicks, Jockey Jack, Alice Fleming, Mason Howe, Hate Horror, and Dakota Huber. You're just a few of our winners here today. Congratulations to each and every one of our grand prize winners. And congratulations to those of you who earned bonus SB and stuck around to claim them. You made the right choice, and you should be happy with that. Now that you have all these SB, you know what I want you to do with them? You can save them up for later on, but you're going to use them eventually to redeem for PayPal cash or gift cards to Amazon, Starbucks, Target, or hundreds of other places. Let your mind roam free. Thank you for playing, everyone. We'll be back tomorrow with our Thursday game. This has been Swagbucks Live. Take it easy.